Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nermanon, and I'll be doing a video for you guys over Battlefield 3 today. I'll be playing with Nerd Mode off, and I'll be playing on Davaman Peak on Rush, which is pretty much pretty standard. I mean, I do play on Xbox, so the luxury of the higher player count is not too consistent, and the epic battles really don't exist on the standard vanilla maps. Granted, there's about three or four that are really good on the console side. Everything else kind of sucks, and all the map packs are more or less for the PC exclusive, guys. I don't want to say that in the worst way, but I think we can all come to an understanding that, you know, if everyone played on PC, I think the battles or the complaints would probably be a little different in different departments, but, eh, that's just how it works, I don't have a problem. My money was well spent, I've definitely dumped in over 25 days in Battlefield alone, so I feel like I got my monies out of it, and when it comes down to it, that's, so I guess that's all that matters, but... Anyway guys, I'm really here to talk about Battlefield 4 today, I'm not going to jump too much into the gameplay, as you guys know, Davaman Peak did have another set of MCOMs that were added, I don't know when this happened, I just know we played last week, I saw that there was a fifth set, I was all confused and mentally mindfucked, and it was a great time. Granted, I don't know exactly how I feel about that, I'm really excited that they did it, but I feel like, you know, it was a little late to kind of add that kind of stuff in, especially now considering that... You know, the game's almost coming to a close. I mean, granted, we do have like seven, eight months left, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. Like, I feel like if they were going to change something, they would have done it in their first year of doing the game instead of, you know, a year and a half through the game's life cycle. But, you know, I don't really care. I'm just pleased that DICE is still working on Battlefield 3. I know a lot of people get all pissy and moany when some things don't get fixed, but I feel like they're doing their job, and I guess that's all that matters in my perspective. So, anyway, guys, Battlefield 4. If you guys are unfamiliar, I did make a video very early this morning It actually released somewhere around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. I was up pretty much all night doing all kinds of weird stuff that you guys probably don't care about in that perspective. But, you know, to really jump into it, I did make a video. I'll have it linked at the end of this video and an annotation. It's really easy to see. I'm sure you guys can figure that out. I and mean, most of you guys are pretty fluent in the understanding of how this stuff goes by now. But, you know, just in case you're unfamiliar, there will be an annotation. All you gotta do is click it. You'll go to the last video. It'll update you. And you can watch the six through nine minutes, I don't remember how long it was, where I just talk about Battlefield 4, the reveal. So, if you guys are Battlefield players, I'm sure most of you have seen it on YouTube, or you've seen it on the official Battlefield website. I watched it on the Battlefield website because I wanted to promote them in that way. I don't really care to watch some other person's video that stole it de deliberately off of the Battlefield page. So, that's what I did. I went right to the source and I wanted to watch it in the best resolution possible without the degrading feel of them downloading it. If you guys are familiar with that kind of uh, formula or downloading videos, there is a slight amount of pixel loss that you do get from just straight downloading. No matter what kind of downloader you have, you will lose something because it's not the original file being uploaded. Just how it works. But anyway, I'm not really going to rant too much about that because I don't really care if you watch it on anyone else's page. I'm just saying it's deliberately stealing it in any other circumstance. So as you guys will take note, there was a lot that I talked about. I talked about the suppression from that to the helicopters to the American side, the Russians, the minimap. I talked about all of that kind of stuff. But there were some things that I missed and I really want to go into detail because I figure this will be the best opportunity to do that. So, as you guys take note, the M16 looks like it's returning and I am so happy. I know some people are really pissed. I don't really care. I think the M16 was perfectly balanced as of this moment. I think it's pretty balanced. I mean, granted, you could probably tweak it a little bit more to, um, you know, the nerf side of it. But, you know, when it comes down to it, if you can't do well with every gun in the game... You know, maybe it's just uh, something that you need to work on. Maybe you need to work on your accuracy. I mean, there's different ways to beat players. I think everyone just assumes, oh, well, this gun can shoot me in uh, four bullets, so it must be super overpowered in close range. Well, if you want to beat somebody in close range, I bet you upgrade your kit and use something like an AEK F2000. Long range, the M16 is going to do really well. The M416, sniper rifles. I mean, I think people lose the foresight, and I, I especially, I'm not going to be sitting here telling you guys that I'm a perfect player when it comes down to it. I definitely don't adjust to situations like I should. You guys will see that many times through thousands of my Battlefield videos. That's just how it works, and I'll go into more detail, I guess, some other time. But, you know, I just feel like Battlefield 3 was very balanced as of this moment. Of course, there are some things that could have been adjusted, but, you know, pretty much I think they got it pretty good. I mean, they've done better than a lot of games have. I mean, if you want to give credit or not, how about you go look at some of the other games that are on the market? Call of Duty, Halo. I mean... Some of those games have some really game-breaking things in them, and I'm not attacking any game. I don't want you guys to take this out of context, because there will be somebody that will be like, Oh, no, no, that game's amazing. It's super balanced. I'm not saying that they're not all balanced in different perspectives. I'm just saying that, you know, there are different components, different perk setups, different weapons, different locations that are centered around towards different people or different teams. Just how it works. It's always worked that way. I mean, if you can't see that, 
yeah, maybe those titles just are a little bit more foreshadowing your vision. I could not tell you. But anyway, to jump back onto the perspective or back into the main gist of it, M16 looks like it's returning. I cannot wait. The scope that was being used was the 3.4 American optics optical scope. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that will transfer to multiplayer, though. And somebody made a really good point, and they said that a skilled player would be able to use the close range, you know, ability for the iron sights while using the long range ability for a scope. And that kind of made me think, I was like, yeah, that could work. I mean, I could definitely pick up an M16 with a 3.4 scope, and I could do good in close range, because all you have to do is cock the weapon at a 45 degree angle. And it looked pretty much instantaneous. It didn't look like it had, like, a timer on it. It didn't look like it had a, you know, delay of switching the weapon over. And it wouldn't in real life. I mean, you'd be able to cock that thing like a boss. I mean, unless you're, you know, holding an LMG that weighs a sufficient amount of weight, you would be able to just tip the weapon on a 45 degree angle. It's not that hard, and they definitely don't need to make it more difficult than it needs to be. But I don't know if it'll be transferred to multiplayer. I hope it does, because I can only imagine the cool moments that could really occur by doing something like that. And I just figured that it would be a good idea, but at the same expense, I could definitely see it being really used in different perspectives. I could definitely see it becoming a hindrance, and I could definitely see a lot of people bitching about it, but we'll only see. Suppression, however, it didn't look like it was in the campaign, but somebody made a really good point. And I'm not positive if this is true, guys. Please don't hold me to the account. I mean, I just saw it in a comment. Some It had like 180, you know, upvotes, so it must have been semi-true. But Battlefield 3, when you guys watched the single player campaign somebody said that there was no suppression also in that as well I'm not positive that's true I don't, I'm not gonna go look for it so to be honest with you guys I'm just letting you know that you know it could be in multiplayer it could not be hopefully it's tuned down just a little bit I would like to see it kind of at the beginning stages but where it's at now so maybe a comfortable middle would be okay that way the perks seem like they're a little bit more useful than they actually are now as you guys will also take note the destructibility was phenomenal I cannot believe how much they've done to that. That is just crazy. It blows my mind that when he shoots that noob tube at the wall, it destroys the wall, but it doesn't just, like, make the wall disappear. It, you know, it has, like, the rigid edges of it. It looks like, you know, you could still use that wall as cover. You're just going to be exposing, you know, your left or right, you know, depending on which way it's blown out or whatever. And the campaign just was phenomenal. I mean, there was so much explosive destructibility. It looked like it was there, and I'm hoping that transfers into the multiplayer side of it. As you guys took note, there was a female character that I told you guys about previously, followed by the U.S. transport helicopter and the Havoc. And, uh, pretty standard. I could kind of see why that was coming. I mean, this is Battlefield 4, so it's not like we're going super into the future. You know, we're not going, you know, 50 years ahead of time and still fighting the Russians and the whatever units that we are going to be fighting. And to take note, you know, the Russians, and it looks like we're going to be fighting China, or China's going to be our ally, it looked like, from the campaign, but we'll see. I mean, that almost looks like a deceiving part of it, because I feel like if we have China on our team, I feel like the whole idea of this is kind of like, hey, we're, it's two units versus one. I feel like China's going to come back and bite us in the ass. And I'm not saying that in real life, but I'm just saying it feels like the campaign might be set up around that, so we might be fighting Russia at first, and then China's going to swift, and they're going to come back at us now, and they're going to reveal information. We'll see. But... You know, there's a lot of things that I'm not going to be able to tell you guys about, but the spawning mechanism looks like it's a lot more cool, so hopefully there isn't the whole mash the button as fast as you possibly can. If you're PC, I think that's Q. If you're console, it's back or select. And, you know, hopefully they'll fix that. I mean, I'm all for spamming it. I do it a lot, but on console, I think it locks up after a while. I don't know if that works on PC, considering that you guys just kind of have the weird mechanisms that pop up on screen and the Q button and all that stuff. So we'll see how that works out. But... You know, you can also command your troops to engage at certain points. I Hopefully that will be something that's equivalent to the multiplayer side. I'd like to see that being like, hey, like maybe a marker shows up on screen. Like we need to attack this point. This is priority. We'll see how this all works, guys. But there's a lot of stuff that still be yet to talk about. And the HUD, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to mess with that. That looks so beautiful. But guys, this has been my video. This is kind of like a recap talking about a couple of new things. But again, I'll keep you guys more up to date as more information is released. This is NMO, signing off. Peace.